Hey guys, what's up? Xanthapai uh, here, and today I am going to show you how to make it teleport. Mainly because um, I was told if I did this, I'd get cookies. I'm um, just saying, so you know, teleport was supposed to be the last tutorial in the series, but uh, I get cookies, so it kind of evens out. Um, all right, let me delete this real quick. All right, so. First thing we are going to do is to uh, open up our robot bar and uh, go over to AI and uh, it's an AI point. Make sure you um, align to terrain. I just have an AI tag point, I think. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, delete that and make it an AI tag point. Should be blue. All right. Once you have an AI tag point, go over here to miscellaneous. Nope. Go over to entity. I am really screwing up today. And uh, get a proximity trigger. And place that like so. All righty. And uh, just spawn like a door or something. Be creative. Basket. Let's spawn a basket this time. Run into the basket to teleport. Oh. Alright, uh, so now you're going to need to open up your flow graph. And uh, hold on a second, my dog is barking. Alrighty, let's continue. Um, you probably didn't know I was gone. You just heard me say I'll bring it back. Okay, let's continue. I was actually gone for about three minutes. Weird timing thing. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is I uh, go up to new and uh, we are going to need an entity proximity trigger. Uh, entity. Actually, get POS first. Stands for position, but I forgot that you had to click on your prox entity thingy. All right, so click on your proximity thingy and uh, add selected entity, and it'll be there, just like that. All right, and we need a beam entity. Add node. Sorry, I need to make my screen smaller. You still can't see it. Entity and just um do beam entity. And you need to get a add node game local player. Alrighty. So now comes the little never mind. Alright, let's just do this. Let me position this like so and uh let's start with the easy part. Uh, take entity ID to uh, choose entity and uh, take enter to beam and take position to position rotate to rotation and scale to scale pretty simple alright I feel like there's more oh yes I almost forgot uh, click on your tag point and uh, assign selected entity to uh, the get position one. Assign tag point to that. Alright, just go up and uh, file save it. Just rename it teleport. I already have it in there, but I'm just going to do it again. Alright, so technically now I should be able to run to my basket and we will teleport to the yep yeah, it just moved us to a uh, zero 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 which is the default one alright I was gonna have a really kinda humorous one but uh, when I did this tutorial last time it didn't quite work out alright so I'm gonna show you how to add a position in there alright so we want this position. Um, write down those coordinates. Actually, write down the coordinates that you would have in your map at that position. My X is 976. And then the Y is 1292. Remember these numbers. 252 is a Z. Alright. So now we are going to go back over to our teleport thingy. Contraption. 
and we are going to open up our flow graph once again. I don't know why I had to go all the way back over there. And dash default. Click on not that one. Click on the beam entity thing and this. Enter your X as nine seven six. Enter the Y as one two nine two. If these happen to be your coordinates, then you would do that. The odds of that happening are really against you. And then just save it. Um, you would enter your own coordinates in there. This is just an example. Now we crap my last tutorial. Now, oh Jesus, hold on. That's that's really obnoxious. Okay. Spawn and now we should. Yeah, we just teleported there, but my Z was obviously too low. I mean, my Y was too low. Alright, uh, so let's bring both Z and Y up. Just a tad. Low graph. Files. Default. Uh, well, that be like 5 and change the 2 to a 5. Sometimes you have to work with the coordinates a little bit to get it perfect, but it is a really cool thing to do. Alright, so once again we're going to run into our basket, and we spawned where we should be. You can see I've added my little scenery up here. We have a uh, first aid kit. We have a washing machine. Um, we have a broom. And another basket. I don't know why this basket's here, I just wanted it. And uh, just to give you guys a little briefing of this map and what's going on with your world right now, I'll waste another two minutes of your time. Pretty much right now, going on, we're still selling tutorials, and I decided to uh, sell the written c copy with the tutorials. Um, so you get both a video tutorial and a written copy of the tutorial, which is a lot easier, and so it makes each of them worth about 50 cents a piece. I uh, know you cannot buy them separately, and uh, it still costs a dollar for both. Just go to www.wizzyworld.com and uh, go to purchase ACQ tutorials. And in there, you can buy whichever tutorials you want. I don't have 23, 24. I, wait, I, have, I don't have 25 and 26, and soon to be number 27 in there yet. But I will get right on that. If you want them, just email me if they're not on there, and I will give them to you. By the way, this is my new height map. I actually have about 12 new height maps. I'm just kind of playing with all of them. They're all a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's going on right now. Still selling tutorials, still doing tutorials. I don't have that many left. I need some more ideas. Um, yes, I remember that I still need to do the um, how to have an AI patrolling. I'll be doing that eventually. And I do want, since I did this tutorial, I want my cookies, of course. I want cookies. I want big cookies. I want a lot of them. All right. The Xantaquire signing.